Please welcome Bernard Galbally, CEO, to tell us more about their programs. Hi, Jacinta. Thank you. Our students were angry. Angry with each other, angry at themselves, angry at life in general, and wellbeing staff were left devastated and bewildered. It was harrowing. I received these words from a school principal in rural Victoria after a 14 year old girl took her own life. She was someone's daughter, sister, cousin, friend. And sadly, this story is not unique. Suicide is the leading cause of death of young people in Australia. And what is worse, Australia's suicide rate is 40% higher in rural communities than in metro areas. And we know that 63% of young people living in remote, in rural and regional communities can't access the mental health services they need. We simply don't have enough doctors, counsellors, psychologists, therapists to look after everyone. But young people, wherever they live, should be able to live full lives. That's where Live for Life comes in, saving young lives in rural communities through mental health education and suicide prevention. So what does Live for Life do? We teach young people about mental health and wellbeing and how to prevent suicide. We teach them to know the difference between a good day and a bad day, and to understand the difference between a bad day and what may be an emerging mental health issue. We teach young people how to look after themselves and importantly, how to look after their mates and where to go for help. Because we actually know that young people will reach out to their friends first when faced with a mental health issue. So they need to know how to support each other. I'd like to share with you a story about how Live for Life really works. It was the day before the recent statewide five day lockdown. A year 12 boy had a plan to kill himself. But a mate noticed him acting differently. He noticed him withdrawing. You see, his mate had recently done Live for Life and armed with what he had learnt, he asked his mate if he was thinking about killing himself. He was. So his mate then reached out to a trusted adult and was able to get the support that his friend needed. It was because of what he had learned through Live for Life that he knew how to approach his friend and what to do. But Live for Life is more than just mental health education for young people. It's about the whole community. We deliver mental health education training to teachers, parents, carers, to sporting coaches, canteen workers, the school bus driver and other community members, all getting trained up to add more protective layers that support young people. And most importantly, Live for Life is led by young people. Local students from years nine and 10 form the crew and they are trained and mentored, becoming mental health ambassadors, delivering key community and school-based events focused on year eight students. We have trained more than 11,000 students in mental health first aid and over 1,400 adults and 30 community members have been trained up as mental health first aid instructors. In Macedon Ranges, where Live for Life began 10 years ago, 25% of the population has received mental health first, first aid training. And our two independent evaluations show that Live for Life works. Our life-saving work is, is highlighted as a case study in the final report of the Royal Commission into Victoria's mental health system, showcasing 
and I quote, innovation in community-led mental health solutions for young people. Live for Life is now in six rural communities and we have a wait list of over 20 more, but we can only grow as our funding allows. If we can raise $20,000 tonight, we can train up five local community members to be mental health first aid instructors. $50,000 will see Live for Life going to one more community and $100,000 will allow us to scale to two more rural communities. The school principal that I quoted at the beginning has seen firsthand the impact of Live for Life. It has saved a life already in her community this year. That school principal is now champion of Live for Life. I hope you'll join us. The youth live for life. Have we got Bernard? You've got both oh. of us. We're <laughs> <laughs> standing outside in Wood End and it's freezing. <laughs> you've, had, you've had Laura and I in tears, basically. We, we are... Um, we're speechless. Hearts are so full. Thank you so much. <laughs> Live for Life is coming down the Gippsland. We're already in the Paw Paw uh, local government area and we're going to be coming down the Bass Coast and South Gippsland. So thank you. Thank you. Fun.